day here in the city by the bay welcome to san francisco california at candlestick park and welcome to this exhibition clash between the 49ers and the chargers the chargers playing on the road always a difficult place to win what does the traveling team have to do well, Gus, there's no question that uh, not only do you have to overcome a terrific football team, but you have to overcome one of the toughest environments in the National Football League. So emotionally, you almost have to find your own energy on the field. The bench has to be alive. You have to be cheering for each other. You just have to create that raw emotion to overcome what the crowd is giving you on the other side. All right, Chris, with that in mind, it's game time, and we've got two teams really ready to rumble. Kading has the ball all teed up, and he looks ready to get this game underway. He brings it back to the 23. Randy McMichael was there to bring him down. They'll get the ball here at the 23-yard line. It's first and 10. A lot of movement down there on the offensive line. I think those are just embarrassing. I, you go back to the huddle and you hang your head and you give it. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes those linemen look like little kids when they come back after penalties. The focus of this offense is ball control and it's built from the offensive line up. Of course, when you have one of the premier running backs and Frank Gore from Miami, it becomes an easy decision to run the rock. No question about that, Gus. Frank Gore is one of those running backs, maybe not as flashy as some guys, but he puts up flashy numbers. It seems like he gains five yards falling down, and he is just built so low to the ground the guys hate tackling him. And Chrissy is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. And third down, seven yards to go. The ball is on their own 26. Short throw to the left. Makes the catch, and he's dropped. On defense, they've got a number of solid contributors and a couple rising stars, notably linebacker Sean Phillips out of Purdue. Now, Sean Phillips is a bit of a late bloomer, but it really did bloom when it happened for Sean Phillips. With some solid playing time, he's emerged as a force to be reckoned with. He has it, but nowhere to go. And here comes Phillip Rivers. Now in his eighth season out of NC State, a three-time Pro Bowl selection. They'll go to work at the 31. And we'll have a first down and 10. Pass is short right side. This is a high-powered offense that likes to get the ball down the field and can score points awfully fast. 
They have a premier target in Antonio Gates from Kent State who revolutionized the tight end position. No question Antonio Gates has been a superstar in the game. Physically, he's one of the most dominant tight ends in the NFL. And lately, he's had a few physical issues that slowed him down a bit, but when he's right, he is almost impossible to stop. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. So the penalty brings up a second and 15. Still looking for an open man. And as we take some time to introduce the defensive key players, we spotlight Patrick Willis from Ole Miss. He is one of the best linebackers in the NFL, and he's getting better. Yeah, multiple Pro Bowls in his career says an awful lot about Patrick Willis. He has a motor that never stops running, and he has become the emotional leader of this defense. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. He's dropped down around the 47-yard line by Spikes. From their own 47-yard line. is out to the left and he's tackled around the 44 yard line by Willis and they pick up nine with the completion short yardage situation here second and a yard Takes it right up the gut, and he's got room to run. He's wrestled down at about the 31 by Clements. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Dumps it out right. He's tackled around the 25-yard line by Willis. Jackson caught that one for a gain of six. They'll need about three yards here on second down. Gives it up the gut. He's brought down at about the 25-yard line by Franklin. Third down now. They'll need about three yards to convert for a new set of downs. They'll throw for the first. Good coverage downfield. Scoops it, and he's still on his feet. He's loose and running strong. And he's running with a purpose now. And he's gone. That's a touchdown. The scoop, the scoop, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. I don't think anybody was going to have a chance to catch him there. The 49ers get the first touchdown of the game. A close call there. Was it a fumble? I don't know why you keep asking me. You know every time it goes to replay, I'm basically wrong. So I'm not going to guess anymore. I'm just going to wait and listen with everybody else. And they will keep possession with the reverse call. Again, we have one of those kinds of calls where you have to watch two parts of the body. When was the knee down? When did the ball come out? Difficult to officiate, but they got it right. 
He banks it off the upright and through. Wow! How did that go in? That is one happy kicker on the field right now. I'm sure he's thinking, that makes up for all those ones that hit that upright and kick back at me. Kading will be kicking off. Ginn is back to receive the kick. He'll start at the 8-yard line. He stopped at the 24-yard line. Seiler was there for the stop. They'll start this drive at the 24-yard line. First down and 10. Watch out! Yeah, and the key is making that first pass rusher miss you. More often than not, there's one guy in your way. You can make that first guy miss. A lot of times those defenders have their backs turned and are running away from you. That'll bring up second down, a couple of yards needed to convert. He's dropped down around the 32-yard line by Cooper. Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. the carry and he's tackled around the 37 yard line by number 90 first down 10 to go Smith flips it out. He didn't get back to the line. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. It's second down and 11 to go. It's a gain of eight. So it's third down. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. Has a man to his right. He's pushed out of bounds at the 48-yard line. What happened there? Well, the defense was in zone coverage. They got good pass protection. And anytime that happens, it tends to really stretch those zones and widen the holes. It's first and ten. Moves to his right. Play action. He's looking deep. The pass is tipped away. Boy, the quarterback has to be a better decision maker than that. There's no way he was going to get that one in. They'll face second down and 10. Oh 
Short pass to his left. Breaks a tackle and finds running room. He's wrestled down at about the 37-yard line by Burnett. And we'll have a first down and 10 on their own 37. Here's a pass over the middle. He's tackled around the 19-yard line by Weddle. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Makes the throw over the middle. He's brought down at about the 15-yard line by Kaysen. Long picks up about maybe four yards with the catch. It's second down and six. Ball on the 15-yard line. Dixon takes it up the middle. He's dropped down around the 12-yard line by Burnett. They're two for two on third down conversion so far on this drive. They'll try to convert once again right here here comes the heat it's a quarterback sack calm down calm down baby they'll call on the field goal unit here The kick is good. So the score now, the 49ers, three. The Chargers, three. Nedney is ready to kick this one off. Sproles is deep, looking to return the kickoff. Caught at the eight. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Spikes was there to bring him down. They'll take over at the 22. First down and 10. And they really ran right into the blitz. That's a time that a veteran quarterback should have changed the play at the line of scrimmage. You could see the blitz coming. He didn't audible and only came away with a short game. It's now second and nine. Field. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. Third down, 12 yards to the first. Ball is on the 20.
He's searching for a receiver. And they get to him. At the end of the first quarter, it's knotted up. Welcome back to San Francisco. It's fourth and long now after the sack. Ginn fields the ball at the 44. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. Gore gets it on the inside. And he's tackled right around the 46-yard line by Seiler. So second down, the offense needs about four for the first. Someone jumped early down there. Well, if you want to know why Pee Wee football coaches make you run a lap if you jump off sides, it's because it can really have a negative impact on your offense, just like that one. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want. But ultimately, this game comes down to one big man against another big man. And that time, the defense's big men, they won the battle. It's now third and 12. Ball on their own 47. Checks down to the short pass. The Chargers did a good job forcing a three and out. Anytime a defense can come up with three solid plays in a row like that, you know they are right on schedule. Fourth down. The 49ers line up to punt. They'll get the ball here at the 20. First down, 10 to go. Looking, fires it to the left. Nene was his intended target. Second down and seven yards to go. Give to the tailback. He's going to be tackled for a loss. The Chargers are not doing a good job at all on the ground so far. They need to somehow get that turned around because if you can't run it, boy, it is tough to throw the football. Third down now. They'll need 11 to move the chains. Ball on the 19-yard line. Searching for an open man. Makes the grab. No signal yet. We'll see what they rule. They're going to say he came down with it. 
And he shows some fancy footwork to get both feet inbounds. You know, I think he's part ballerina almost out there. Not only does he have the concentration to pull in catches, but he has superb body control that allows him to get both feet in, despite the fact that all his momentum is carrying him out of bounds. It's a combination that has made this quarterback very happy over the years. Makes for an easy target, that's for sure. Yeah, and a tough target to defend as well. The quarterback can deliver the ball in a place where either the receiver catches it or the ball simply goes out of bounds. And just about four yards away here on second down. Again with the carry. He's wrestled down at about the 47-yard line by Brooks. Just about four yards shy of the first here on third down. He's going to his right. Throws. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line by Willis. It's first and ten. Tober gets the call. He's brought down right around the 26-yard line by Brown. And we'll have a first down and ten. Ball on the 26. Tober on the handoff. He's dropped down right around the 18-yard line by Harrelson. And two yards away here on second down. Rivers hands it off straight ahead. Not a ton of room to run, but he manages to wiggle forward for the first. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball is on the 15. Rivers will hand it off. He cruises in for the touchdown. The Chargers get the first touchdown of the game. Kading hits the PAT. It's now a seven-point game. San Diego is up a score. Kading will be kicking off. Ginn is back to receive the kick. He'll take it from the two. Gets it to the 21. English was there for the stop. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. 
They'll set up shop at the 21-yard line. First down and 10. Inside give. And he's tackled right around the 24-yard line by Cooper. from their own 24-yard line. He's wrestled down around the 27-yard line by number 90. So it's third down. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. Under heavy pressure. And that sack will bring up fourth down as the offense couldn't get anything going on the series. This defensive line is just so impressive. They keep manhandling this offensive line, pushing them back into the quarterback. As a quarterback now, you have no choice. You have to do some quicker plays. Get that ball out of there. So, it's fourth down. The 49ers are lining up to punt it away. He has it, but nowhere to go. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. Or he's going to get killed. First down, 10 to go. They're on their own 35. On the ground with the tailback. He's tackled around the 48-yard line by Spencer. It's first and ten. Has a man out to his right. This is close. Did he come up with it? They rule it incomplete. I don't care who you're talking about. That was a tough catch for anybody in this league. They might have mistimed the snap on that one. I think those are just embarrassing. I, you go back to the huddle, and you hang your head, and you give it... I'm oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes those linemen look like little kids when they come back after penalty. With the give, this one will be a short gainer. They pick up two yards. Third down and 13 yards to go. And they got him. The key on a safety blitz is timing it out with the quarterback snap count. If you tip it too soon, the offensive linemen or the backs can adjust. But if you time it perfectly, like happened on that one, you end up with a sack. So after the sack, it's now fourth down and long. Gets the ball at the 14-yard line. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. They'll start at the 19-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. 
Gore takes a handoff. They take over at the 20. Smith with the give. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. So third and nine coming up right here. The ball is on their own 20. Throws middle of the field. He's brought down around the 31-yard line by Seiler. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Short throw to the left. Long. Gains about four yards there. From their own 35-yard line. Has a man short to his left. He's dropped down around the 43-yard line by Burnett. From their own 43-yard line. going deep it's almost picked off so they'll face a second and ten rolling out to his right and he's tackled around the 46 yard line by Strickland and when I saw the quarterback drop back that time, I really thought they had something going, but they closed quickly and made a nice play defensively to bring up this third down. The ruling is incomplete. He just missed coming down with a great catch there. A good chance of this one being overturned, wouldn't you say? Well, Gus, you're a lot younger than I am, and if your eyes tell you it's out of bounds, I'm going to go with you. And upon further review, they conclude he didn't have possession. You know, I don't think you're ever going to convince that receiver that he didn't make that catch in bounds, so we'll just have to move on without him. He's not happy. He angles it out of bounds at the 12. He really did a nice job there, pinning them back inside their own 20. Anytime you can force an offense to start inside their own 20, it really gives you an edge. They'll take over at the 12. First down and 10. He is wanting to go deep with it.
They'll face second down and 10. Looks to the right. He's going for it all. Jackson was the intended receiver. It's third down, 10 yards for first. Ball on their own 12, and the ball on the 12. He's searching for a receiver. Knocked out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Phillip Rivers, from the very first day that we saw him come into the league, he just looked like a professional quarterback. First down, 10 to go. The ball is on their own 26. Throws it over the middle of the field. He's wrestled down right around the 44-yard line by Spencer. Passes out to the left. Another catch on this drive. He's tackled at about the 45-yard line by Spikes. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Flips out short. He's brought down around the 38-yard line by Spikes. Jackson caught that one for a gain of seven. They'll need about three yards here on second down. Going up towards the end zone. He drops the easy pick. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. They'll throw for the first. Good coverage downfield. Buying time with his feet. He's dropped, and that's a huge sack. He goes down again amidst a heavy pass rush. That's something he's got to improve if he wants to reach the next level. It's almost like he takes himself out of the play the moment he hears footsteps. You just can't keep putting your team in a hole by taking sacks. Just throw it away. And not to mention, he takes an inordinate amount of hits. You know, that's a good point, Gus. The NFL is really geared to protect the quarterback, but when he has the ball, he's going to take some shots.
passes it over the middle of the field. And it's incomplete. Change up possession. That'll be it for the first half of play. The score is 10-3. Welcome back to San Francisco. As both teams take the field, we're just about ready for the second half kickoff. And he'll return this one from the seven. He stopped at the 24-yard line. Brooks was there to bring him down. The offense will take over at the 24-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Someone jumped early down there. That penalty will move them back a bit. Sloppy play right there. The one thing you learn as an offensive player is you can't give away yards. They are just too hard to come by. Up the middle. The stop was made by Justin Smith. A pickup of about three. from their own 22-yard line. Rivers hands it off straight ahead. And the tackle was made by Justin Smith. It's a gain of four. Facing a third and eight situation. Steps and throws to the left side. It is an incomplete pass. Chris, that was a pretty nice defensive stand. Yeah, they just kind of looked out of sync from the very beginning there. And I thought first down really set the tone for that entire series. Fourth down. The Chargers are lining up to punt this one away. Ginn will take off at the 31. They really did a good job keeping him contained on that one. No question about it. He needs a little more help out of his blockers than he got right there. This is a dangerous guy, and if he can get in some open space, he can create some problems for you, but just no space to be found there. Gore on the run. He's dropped down around the 35-yard line by number 90. Second down and eight here. Action. 
And he's tackled around the 40-yard line by Weddle. Third down now. They'll need about three yards to convert for a new set of downs. Gore gets the call again. He may not have gotten there. They'll measure. They signal fourth down. Boy, that's just good old-fashioned football right there. Man against man. Good battle up front. The offense came up just short of that first down. He will start from the 13. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. Passes short right side. He does a good job to hang on to the ball. Floyd caught that one for a gain of six. So second down, the offense needs about four for the first. There's the stiff arm. He's wrestled down at about the 31 by Lawson. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Rivers hands it off. He doesn't get back to the line. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive. The pursuit to the ball, they were all coming there. from their own 31-yard line. Still looking for an open man. Looking. Fires it to the left. Jackson was his intended target. They're facing a third and 10. Ball on their own 31. Surveys the field. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. It's fourth down. The Chargers lining up to punt. He muffed the punt at the 21. The stop was made by Gilchrist. There's an edge of 49er who will need to come off at least for this play.
They'll get the ball here at the 26-yard line. First down and 10. Give to the tailback. He's tackled at about the 33-yard line by number 71. Second down, and they're going to need just about three yards to pick up the first. The give to the tailback. And that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal gain. Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. Flag on the play. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. And I have a feeling this one is coming back. And I really didn't see the hold there. You're starting to sound more like an offensive lineman every day, Gus. You know, the reality is there really is holding on every single play, but the rule changes now allow for guys to grab within the framework of the body. You just can't reach outside that framework. Number 62 is guilty of moving early. After the penalty, the offense will face a third and very long situation. Passes it short. The Chargers were flying to the ball on that series. There's no way they were going to let them get a first down. It's fourth down. The 49ers are lining up to punt it away. Sproles will start his return to the 24. Gets to about the 34 and is stopped. Brock was there for the stop. He's definitely got some breakaway potential when he's back there returning kicks. You give him just a little bit of room, he could break it for a big one. They'll start at the 34-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Looked like someone might have jumped. Well, if you want to know why Pee Wee football coaches make you run a lap if you jump off sides, it's because it can really have a negative impact on your offense, just like that one. He's going deep with it. Big yardage on the catch, and they'll push him out of bounds. And that was a huge gain through the air. There's nothing like a big pass play to spark an offense. You can see the enthusiasm now, not just in the quarterback and the receivers, but also in those big guys up front. A close call here. Was he in? Was he out? If he was in, did he have control of the football before going out? The funny thing is, I don't even know that the officials mind being challenged on their calls on the sideline because they are so tough. Trying to watch the hands and the feet and everything at the same time. This is just among the toughest calls that officials have to make. And upon further review, they conclude he didn't have possession. You know, I don't think you're ever going to convince that receiver that he didn't make that catch in bounds, so we'll just have to move on without him. He's not happy. Looking for a man. Throws it up top down the left side. He's brought down at about the 29-yard line. 
by Spencer. First and ten once again after the big game through the air. He didn't get back to the line. There are just some guys in this league that you have to run away from, but the danger in that is you run away from him and he uses his speed to catch you from behind. Brings up second down and about 12 yards to go. Short pass to his left. He's dropped down around the 23-yard line by Spencer. Just about four yards shy of the first here on third down. He's searching for a receiver. It's a quarterback sack. This one, about a 48-yarder. it and that was not an easy kick Chris yeah it looked like a little adrenaline kicked in on that one didn't it maybe even surprised him how far he hit that one Kading gets ready to kick it away Culliver is deep looking to return the kickoff and he gathers it at the six-yard line. He makes it to the 22. English was there to bring him down. They'll start this drive at the 22. It's first and 10. Gore on the inside handoff. And he's tackled right around the 22-yard line by Seiler. It's second down and nine to go. So they have the ball on their own 21. Gore takes it up the middle. He's wrestled down at about the 23-yard line by number 91. They need eight on third down to move the chains. Ball on their own 23. Looks right, throws. He can't come up with it. Incomplete pass. That incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Yeah, that series just never seemed to get off the ground. Nothing they tried there seemed to work. So, it's fourth down. The 49ers line up to punt.
Sproles starts running at the 32. He makes it out to the 40-yard line. Culliver was there for the stop. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. Matthews gets the call. He's tackled around the 42-yard line by Brooks. They're looking now at second and eight. Ball on their own 42. Hands off. He's got room up the middle. He's brought down at about the 45-yard line by Goldson. They line up at the 45. Dumps it out right. He's dropped down around the 43-yard line by Lawson. Floyd grabbed that one for a gain of two. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Dumps it short. Catches it, and he's dropped. Well, you can see that play fake really frees the defense just long enough for the quarterback to get the ball into the receiver. That'll make it third down. The offense needs about three feet for the first. They'll throw for the first. Short throw to the right. Defense pushes him out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Phillip Rivers has the hot hand right now, and of course that surprises nobody, especially this defense. He's one of the most accurate passers in the league, so to stop him, you have to get some heat on him. And we'll have a first down and 10. So we'll head to the fourth with our score. 13, three. Welcome back to San Francisco. They line it up at the 22. Has a man to his right. Jukes away, and he will be tackled. Phillip Rivers is having no trouble completing passes on this drive. Accuracy is just one of his many talents. San Diego, it's about to extend the lead to three scores. Passes short right side. He's pushed out of bounds at the three. Matthews picks up maybe seven with that catch. And they'll line up three yards away. Rivers hands it off straight ahead. Oh, 
Only a couple yards from the score. Rivers gives it up the middle. And the tackle was made by Justin Smith. The field goal unit is on the field. The kick is good. And with that, the score is the Chargers, 16, the 49ers, 3. Hating. Looks ready to kick it away. Culliver stands back to field the kick. He'll return it from the six. Hold on, there is a flag down. He gets to about the 27 and goes down. Oliver was there to bring him down. Norris is flagged for a hold on the play. So, from their own 15-yard line. Short throw to the left. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 15. Let's it go deep. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. It's third down, 10 yards for first. Going up top. They picked it off. And he's tackled around the 45-yard line by Walker. First down and 10. Ball on their own 45. Tolbert takes the give. He's wrestled down around the 47-yard line by Evans. From their own 47-yard line. Has a man short to his left. That reception, good for seven. He looks more comfortable in the pocket than he did earlier in the game. Yeah, most definitely, Gus. He was forcing passes earlier in the game, but it looks like he's kind of settled down back there. The defense needs to figure out how to get to him like they were doing earlier in the game. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. They might have missed time to snap on that one. Well, no excuse there. The offensive line obviously knows the snap count, but I suppose it's easy to lose concentration with one of those big defensive linemen in your face. Here. 
Dumps it out right. He gets knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line. What happened there? Well, the defense was in zone coverage. They got good pass protection, and any time that happens, it tends to really stretch those zones and widen the holes. They line up at the 43. Fakes the handoff and scans the field. He's tackled around the 29-yard line by Clements. They line up at the 29. is out to the left he's brought down around the 17 yard line by Lawson first down 10 to go Short throw to the right. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. it off. The stop was made by Nick Fairley. Two-yard pickup. It's third down, nine yards to go. Ball is on the 15. There's a flag on the play. He's dropped down right around the 12-yard line by number 27. They call on the field goal unit. Someone jumped early down there. Well, if you want to know why Pee Wee football coaches make you run a lap if you jump off sides, it's because it can really have a negative impact on your offense just like that one. He splits the uprights. So the score now, the Chargers, 19, the 49ers, 3. Kading is just about ready to kick this one away. Culliver is back to receive the kick. Caught at the eight. He gets this one to the 26-yard line. Kading was there for the stop. They'll set up shop at the 26-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Gore on the handoff. Drop behind the line. Yeah, and we know defensive ends are probably some of the most athletic guys in the league, and typically you think about them getting after the quarterback, but that time he uses athleticism to make a big stop in the run. That's a first down right there. Might want to play them a 
little tighter, maybe even go to the man coverage. Yeah, it's pretty tough to play a zone coverage against this quarterback. He does a great job in recognition, and that time you could see him move the zone defense just a little with his eyes before he threw it in there. From their own 44-yard line. They'll get the call again. And he's tackled at about the 45-yard line by number 91. Has a seam down the middle. And he's able to hold on to it. I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. They line up at the 46. Has a man to his right. And the pass falls incomplete. Walker was the intended receiver on the play. They'll face second down and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. He goes down. Sack. Not many plays in the playbook designed to get this kind of yardage. Third down and long. Looking for a big gain down the middle. As a quarterback, you have to go through your reads. That was his first look on that play, and he shouldn't have stayed with it that long. That was a bad decision. So, it's fourth down. The 49ers lining up to punt. And he takes it at the 12. Norris was there to bring him down. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. Rivers pitches out to the right. He doesn't get back to the line. For me, there's nothing more impressive in football than to see a cover cornerback able to come up and make the stops on the run. That's a complete football player. It's on their own 16-yard line. Run, right side. He's wrestled down around the 21-yard line by Bauman. Facing a third and eight situation. Ball on their own 21. Passes short right side. He's in open space. Running strong downfield. Burst of speed. Boom, he's gone. 
Wow, halfbacks that can play like wide receivers. I don't know how you play defensive back in this league anymore. What a play. The PAT is up and good. With less than four minutes to go in the fourth, the score, the Chargers, 26, the 49ers, 3. San Diego gets ready to kick it away. Number 33 is deep, looking to return the kickoff. And he gathers it at the six-yard line. He returns to the 26. Hughes was there for the stop. They'll start this drive at the 26-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Looked like someone might have jumped. I used to always think that offensive linemen should go to the line of scrimmage and hold up either one finger or two fingers and look down when they get confused. Dixon on the give. And the tackle was made by Daquan Bauer. Passing in this situation seems like it would have been a good idea. Passing in every situation seems to me like it would be a better idea, but when you have the clock working against you like this, it's time to put it up. They get about five on the pass. Dumps it out left. Uh-oh! Watch out! He's tackled around the 34-yard line by Jammer. Looks like they'll opt to go for it here. Looks like someone on the offense tried to get an early start. And that just kills you as a coach. There's just no excuse for making that kind of a penalty on fourth down. Sproles fields it at the 26. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. Or he's going to get killed. They'll start at the 30. It's first and 10. Rivers hands it off straight ahead. Three yards there. Now they're facing second and seven. Ball is on their own 33. They hand it off again. And he'll lose yardage on the play. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Here they go. Third down and eight. They need eight on third down to move the chains. We have two minutes left to play in this game. Inside give. 
And that will definitely be enough for the first down. The defense just couldn't find him on that play. I don't know if they were surprised or what, but that back became a little ghostly. He disappeared. First down and 10. A lot of movement down there on the offensive line. A bit of poor judgment on that play. You have to be aware of the situation, and that's a big first down. First down, 15 to go, following the penalty. Rivers hands it off. He's brought down around the 39-yard line by Smith. That'll bring us to second and 13. Ball on their own, 39. <laughs> Hands off and not much room there. Lawson makes his eighth stop of the game. Third down, 12 yards to the first. Again with the run. He's dropped down around the 41-yard line by LeBoy. That's the end of this one. The game's top plays and stats are next. And let's take a look at the Gatorade performer of the game.